Welcome back to Maintainer's Garage. I'm Bags, and Merry Christmas, Happy Han Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Merry Christmas, Christmaka, Happy Festivus, Happy Hell Hydra Day, Happy uh, All Hell Odin Day, Happy Holidays, Happy whatever it is you celebrate day. And today I'm going to be giving you a review of my C6 Corvette. It's a 2005. I've owned it since September of 2019, so not very long, but I've driven it quite a bit, and we're just going to give you my initial thoughts on it and kind of do a small review of it. I picked this car up a few months ago up in Boston, and the wife and I, you know, we live in Atlanta. We flew up, picked the car up, and then drove it home, and the interior on the C6 was a huge improvement over the previous generations. They did a lot of engineering and ergonomics and just tried to make it a visibly nicer place to be but also physically a nicer place to be and it is a nicer place to be it's comfortable it's quieter the materials are better and it doesn't look horrible when you're sitting in there driving the seats are more comfortable still need a little work for track days but hey you know you've got to compromise somewhere so if you're going to give me a comfortable seat to sit in uh, I, i'll take my uh, lumps on the track so Visually from the outside, I think uh, Corvette did a great job. I've always liked these from the time they came out, and it's December 2019. This car was a 2005 model, so obviously 14 years later, to me, it still looks good. They did a good job. It doesn't look old. It doesn't look dated. I mean, it helps that they made these all the way to 2013, but the basic overall design and exterior look was exactly the same. So again, for me, I I've liked them since they came out, but here we are, you know, 14 years later and the car still looks good and to me that that says something as i said earlier corvette did a really good job of engineering and designing this whole interior to be better than everyone before it they started off with a better steering wheel they shrunk it down so it no longer feels like a suburban steering wheel they made it a little bit thicker so as you're driving you wrap your hands around it it feels a little beefier and a little better the overall dash layout is better the ergonomics are better, the materials are better. As you look across it, and again, it's 2005, it's 2019, it doesn't look completely dated, it doesn't look super cheap, it's held up pretty well. And everything in here that I'm looking at, I'll say looks okay. Overall, as you sit here, it's really a nice, pleasant place to sit. As I stated, the seat's comfortable, supportive. There's a gazillion, you know, adjustments to it. I mean, this is the power seat, so you get obviously more than the manual seat. But again, a lot of adjustments. I will say the infotainment system, again, for 2005, it's still hoard. Uh, this, is, I've, this car came with a navigation system. It's garbage. Uh, it's a Bose stereo. It's garbage. Um, if I was going to opt for a stereo system in this factory, it'd be the non-Bose system. It does actually sound better than the Bose. In my opinion, it's all subjective, but that's mine. And, you know, again, the shift knob is really good. Uh, the throws are long and deliberate, but that's okay. When you're talking about a high-performance car, you want it to be a little deliberate. It's, uh, it's, not, it's not an S2000 or Miata Smooth or short, but it is very reassuring you know it's the the row isn't bad at all and the pedals are in a good position to do heel toe and just the overall fit and finish in here is good uh, like i said i like it my wife enjoys driving it you add the removable top to it and that's just a whole another uh, aspect of the uh drive and enjoyment back here in the trunk nothing much to say other than it's pretty spacious uh, i did another video where i showed you how much luggage you can put back here and still store the top and not store the top somewhere in this screen I'll put a link, and <laughs> if you want to check that out, you can. But again, very spacious, lots of luggage. Again, another reason this makes an excellent road trip car. Obviously, we're out and about now, and I just want to do a little driving, a little quick little uh, info about this. Again, this is it's an easy car to drive. My life, my wife likes to drive it. She likes to drive manual transmission cars. Her NC Miata is a manual. She loves this car. She'll get in trouble in this car because she drives like a lunatic. But that's neither here nor there. If you just want to drive this car in a really calm, casual, old Corvette, <laughs> old man Corvette kind of way that you see so many of them, it's easy to do. You want to hone it up, easy to do. I will say one of the few things I don't like about the car is the traction control, stability control system. I don't like the fact that I can't 100% defeat it from this button. I did make a little video about how to do that, and I'll put a link somewhere in here if I can. But other than that, it's good. Again, I, I, hit, I hit the stereo system already. 
again, the steering wheel feels good in my hands, the shifter knob is good in my hands, the throw was deliberate, the heel toe is easy, and this car has a course of mufflers on it, so it gets a little louder, and when I want it to be louder, uh, that'll stir me up, and I can enjoy that. Again, this basically, it's not a GT car, but it's really close. It's one of the more comfortable sports cars I've ever been in and easy to drive and easy to live with. Uh, if you're willing to do sane standard, you know, highway speed, 75 miles an hour and set the cruise control, you're going to get 25 miles to the gallon, and I'm not kidding. But if you want to go up in the mountains and have a little fun, you're going to get 14. It's kind of whatever it is you want to do in this car, you can do. And again, you pop this top off and you have a, an open air experience that's quite pleasant. I never knew how much I'd like it. My wife has, a, again, a hard top Miata and I don't always like riding with the top down, but with just taking this top off, I've come to enjoy that. And again, that's just my little, you know, kind of quick ownership review of uh, my 2005 Corvette. And again, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Uh, hope you have a great one. Hope uh, you've got some things to be thankful for and don't forget to be thankful for them. I'm thankful for all my friends and family and I love you all. So uh, thanks for watching Maintainer's Garage and have a great day.